So the last approach that I want to talk about is the de Bruijn graph approach. And so in a de Bruijn graph approach, unlike the overlap layout consensus that I just talked about, the de Bruijn graph approach takes k-mers out of reads and then tries to build an assembly absent that information. So let me try and explain how this works. So let's assume that we have some short sequences that we're trying to align. So here's our first sequence, and here's our second sequence. The way the de Bruijn graph approach works is that we take a kamer, a short kamer, and so in this case, I'm just going to use four as an example, right? So I'm going to take every possible overlapping former. So I start with AACC, ACCG, CCGG, CGGT, GGTT, GTTA, and that's all the possible formers from this first sequence. I do the same from the second sequence. So I start with GGTT, GTTA, TTAT, TATA, ATAC. And again, I have all possible formers from the second sequence. Now all I have to do is I have to identify the formers that overlap between my two sequences. And so you can see that I have this kamer here maps exactly to this one, and the next one along maps exactly to the next one along here. And so if I were reading this sequence, I would say my sequence would be A, A, C, C, G, G, and that GG is the same that appears here, and then T, T, A. Because I'm at the end of the sequence, I can take the rest of those bases. So my sequence would be A, A, C, C, G, G, which is my overlap, T, T, A, T, A, C. And you can see that that's clearly the combination of these two sequences. Now, I've done this example using formers. In reality, as I talked about, formers occur very frequently, and so none of our software really would use formers. One of the most popular bioinformatics um, de Bruijn graph assemblers is a program called SPADES, and SPADES uses a combination of KMERS from 31 to 127. It typically uses something like 31, 55, 77, 99, 127, but you can set those KMERS as an option to SPADES. SPADES does a bunch of other things in addition to just building a de Bruijn graph. Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to say that that's all it simply does. Um, but in my experience, it's currently one of the ro most robust assemblers and one that we use frequently, and so I've included it on the Amazon Web Image for you guys to use.